Hi everyone, Gruntle here, and this is my guide to legendary and unique weapons in Borderlands the pre-sequel. This episode we're looking at the Thorny Old Rosie, which is a unique laser manufactured by Molowan. So you can get this laser by completing the mission The Beginning of the End in either True or Ultimate Vault Hunter modes, and that mission appears near the end of the normal campaign. So this gun will always spawn with fixed parts. You can see here it will always have the Mulawan stock, barrel and grip and will always be a Mulawan weapon. However I would have kind of liked this to have spawned with, with a Dahl stock because that would have added recoil reduction and recoil recovery. However the Mulawan grip and barrel are both perfect for this gun. The Mulawan grip adding I believe elemental effect damage or chance. One of those two and the Mylowan barrel meaning that it can have this incredibly high continuous damage bonus which is really what this gun stands out for. So it has the red text every thorn has its rose and it also has a skin that has lots of roses all over it hence the thorny prefix and also the word rosy in the name of the gun um, and so yeah we can compare it here to some just normal purple rarity Mulawan lasers and you can see that the stats are all the same these are these are all the same parted Mulawan gun so it's Mulawan grip barrel stock and no sight as well um, and you can see that the Thunio Rosie has the same damage and accuracy and everything but the, the standout feature again is the continuous damage bonus of 368% additional damage Whereas just the normal purple one will be 218% continuous damage bonus. And you can see here that none of these weapons have anywhere near the amount of continuous damage bonus that the Rosie does. So that's what makes it quite an awesome weapon. Um, and another uh, and way to uh, use this gun, sorry, would be to um, just basically hold down the trigger the whole time, um, continuously doing that amount of damage. So. Just without anything, I'm getting for about, about 40,000, 45,000 damage. And then if you hold it down, the damage value goes up, if we can maybe see this, to about 70, 80, 90, 100, 100,000, 106,000, 111,000, 125. See, it's still going up. Way up. I'm not sure what it caps out on, but uh, I think it's still going up here. <laughs> 200 so as you can see it takes almost a full magazine for it to get up to a higher level so what you want to be doing when you're using it is just basically just hold down the trigger keep firing it and you'll keep getting that damage bonus happening um, you really don't want to fire it any other way just the best bet now a lot of people will use it in this this um, damage type which is the shot, sorry, couldn't think for a second there. Um, however, I will be using it in my demonstration in the cryo damage type just because that is what I've been using um, most of the lasers in, and you'll just be able to get a comparison between this and uh, one of the other lasers that I've already reviewed, um, just because they'll be a similar damage type, um, and they'll be doing the same thing to the enemies. So yes, I believe that is everything I wanted to say about this gun. Oh, one last thing to mention actually is that the um, continuous damage bonus has actually been decreased in a patch. Um, in December of last year they decreased the continuous damage bonus from... Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. They decreased it from 518% to 368%. Um, this is still amazing. Uh, but it was just super incredibly overpowered back in December or before December last year so they did decrease that and in terms of the characters that you're going to want to use for this gun it will be any character you want this gun for any of the characters but the most effective would be either Wilhelm of course with his laser buffs or maybe Athena with her elemental buffs or shock damage or something like that or even um, Nisha is pretty amazing with this because you'll get the continuous beam hitting enemies constantly because of her uh, aiming ability so yes anyway we'll move on to the 
demonstration of how the scanner is going to work and I'll be using the cryo version with Wilhelm. And here we are in our testing arena of Overlook, of course. And this gun is already making quick work of the enemies. It's a pretty speedy fight because of just how overpowered this weapon is. However, if I was using, say, the shock damage one, I believe this fight would go even quicker. Because in just a second you'll be able to see that with the, um, with the shielded enemies, it takes a little bit more time to kill them just because they'll be resisting the damage type of this gun. Uh, so the shock damage thorny old rosy is definitely going to be a more potent weapon in a lot of cases. Not that this isn't, this is pretty incredible. So if you want to read more about this gun there will be a link in the description below the like button to the wiki page and you can check up about this gun and all the other guns that I've been talking about in this weapon guide series. If you'd like to watch more of these weapon guide videos then definitely hit that subscribe button. I'll be putting out one a day. I've hoped you and I've hoped I hope you enjoyed this video, <laughs> and um, I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.